Hi. Welcome. Um, we're starting the stream off great with some puns. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? I am... I'm exhausted. I'm so sorry if I don't seem very energetic. The only reason I'm even here today is because... I have a psychiatrist who prescribed me ADHD medication, and that is keeping me going. Um, I'm feeling terrible. Um, happens every month. It's not unusual, but oh my god. Hi, Copper. Hi, Ben. Hi, Aldi. I hope you guys are having a better Wednesday than I am. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... um. Look, I got the flu shot last week. I always react poorly for like a week to the flu shot every year. And then I got my period right after that, so period, flu shot, it's a killer. I don't like it. <laughs> Hi, Madaressa, how are you? Welcome in. Hi, Belinda! Hi, welcome! How are you? Um, oh, that's okay, Ben. I should have closed captions on. Um, and some music that you're not going to hear, but you can read what I'm saying. Um... Today we're just gonna chill, just gonna take it easy. Um, I do have beans to catch up on eating, but I feel a bit queasy today. And I've been considering not doing it today, just putting it on a list and doing it later, because if I get a really bad one, I'm afraid I'm gonna vomit for real. <laughs> I don't wanna do that if I can help it, so yeah. Um, so if you're gonna donate, I will still count it. I will still eat a bean. I did yesterday, I ate like five beans. I got only one bad one, so I feel like I'm super fucked for everything else. <laughs> uh, but uh, it should be okay. Um, and we're gonna do some knitting, so that's happening now. Yay! Um, so, story time. Four years ago, I started knitting a sweater. Four years ago. <laughs> I finished it, and I knit it like a nice turtleneck kind of neckline. But it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. I didn't set it up right, so it doesn't feel comfortable to wear. I don't like it. And I, I just put it somewhere for like four years. <laughs> and then I just, I, I didn't bother with it anymore. And um, I felt bad because I like it. It's a fun color. It looks like like candy corn almost, which is why I call it the candy corn sweater. Um, and I decided that it was time to pick it back up undo the neckline and start knitting a proper neckline so I can wear it because I knitted this sweater myself too. This was the first one I ever knitted for myself. Um, as you can see, it's not a bad sweater. It's just a sweater. It's just very simple and plain, but um, I like it, but it doesn't do shaping correctly. And I did that with this one and I was so excited to wear it. And then I didn't. And I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. It is a pretty nice candy corn type sweater. Yay! Woo and I undid the neckline. It was like a turtleneck at some point. It was quite big. <laughs> and it wasn't comfortable. So I undid that. I kept the lifeline. I kept it. This is why we do lifelines, people. A lifeline is like a piece of yarn that runs through the stitches. I picked these up and then knitted them. And when I undid it, the lifeline kept the, needle, the needles on the yarn. So I, I can just pick these back up and start knitting again without any problems. It's so much easier than doing it the other way. Um, where am I at, though? What is the first stitch? I think that would be the first stitch. Also, it's very dusty. Um, I haven't washed it in four years. <laughs> So, I'm so sorry if it looks gross, but, you know, you gotta do your thing. Um, ooh, I didn't tie that into a knot, though. Okay, well, this is the sweater that I'm gonna be working on for now. Nice and easy and chill. Um, before I do that, I need to... Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change! Hi, Trav! Welcome in! How are you? How are you doing today, lovely? Uh, we also have a loud version of that, by the way. Remember? It's Loud Mel. <laughs> okay, so... I knitted this... <laughs> oh, I'm not feeling too hot today, actually, but, um... 
I'm I'm still wanna like knit on stream and everything, so that's what I'm doing. But <laughs> isn't that great? I love that one. Um, but we're just taking it easy today. I'm I'm just I'm just here for a good time, you know? Um anyway, as I was saying, I used the five millimeter needles, US eight, for the sweater. So when I do ribbing around, um I want to go down a needle size. So we're going to go with a US 7, four and a half millimeters. I don't, I think I can just, what I might be able to do is, I can just knit straight like that. I don't have to do anything special. I can just pick that up. We're going to get the cable because I have to assemble my knitting needle. <laughs> And I just have to uh, figure out which one I need. Which is the shortest one? That is the shortest one. That might be... That might be too short. One second. Knitting is a lot of trying on. And, oh no, actually that's gonna work out just fine. That's fine. I forgot that the needles also have to go on here and they count. Um, but yeah. But yeah, Trev, taking it easy today. I, I'm I'm here because of my medication, <laughs> to be entirely honest. <laughs> Hi, Val. How are you? Uh, welcome. In. <laughs> I love that one so much. By the way, by the way, um, if you guys need my attention because I'm distracted, exclamation mark hello will get my my attention without being so loud. <gasps> oh no, you left contact fell out. That is. That was very frustrating. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, you can use that one, but it's gonna it's gonna scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Which I guess is kind of the point, but you know. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Mel, you're streaming Phasma today? Also. Also. While you guys are here. I want to being a writer and looking for somebody who brings everything to the table. I had to pull myself off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Who brings their vision and particularly who brings their I feel brain. like the ears are little boobs and they're going like this. <laughs> so they're, what? they're aware of what they're doing and they're making conscious choices. Oh my god. I that was real. No! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, this one. It's happening. Just 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 take You're it in. Done. Just let it happen. It was me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's fucking funny. Ah, oh, Copper, we're gonna have to get you some more clips. I think this is the only one you have. I am people happy. I hate that I'm on my on mobile so I can't see people happy. There we go. I am happy. I fucking love the artillery. Yeah, look at that. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh no, what did it say? Every major Sullivan's gonna have artillery. What did it say? Yay. Happy copper noises. That's how it came out. Shit. Okay, great. There we go. But, uh, you know, just writing... <gasps> no! <laughs> so I know I don't have to apologize because it's not what I said, but... Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the whole idea of this now is to get the stitches on the needles. <laughs> Hell yeah, tell CC how to, how to behave. Uh, do I need to get... I think I might have to get... You know what? This needle is gonna give me so much trouble picking that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a US-4. We're just uh, fidgeting around today. <gasps> ben! Don't lie! <laughs> Look, I'm fat too. I, I don't use fat in any derogatory kind of way. It is just a factual statement. And that's what it is and i will not use it on anybody who doesn't want to be refer referred to as fat but i i would never use it that way so 
if that ever happens, um, please beat me. Like, punch me in the face or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm also okay with being called fat. It doesn't offend me. Um, it is just a description and a factual statement. Like, dude, I weigh 300 pounds. That's not, not lean or skinny or average. <laughs> so it's a lot of weight. And that's okay. I don't, you know, I, I am very prone to disordered eating. Like, very prone. There was a time, especially when I first started insulin, that I would eat and not take my insulin to help lose weight, and I did, but it's really, really not healthy. And so I decided to just stop focusing on weight and stop dieting and just live my best life and just, you know, I try to make good food choices, and if I don't, then I don't. But um, I do everything I can to be healthy. And that's what that looks like for me, you know? It's I'm just me, and I'm getting distracted and not realizing if I'm using the right needles. <laughs> and I come in whatever shape and form I come in, and that's it. That's as simple as that. And if anybody has a problem with that, they can fuck right off. <laughs> Stocky! Oh, I like that one too. And squishy, and fluffy, and husky, and... I like those. They sound really... They actually sound attractive to me, because <laughs> it's it it, it 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 um. I think the reason why is because they convey like comfort, and um. Like solid solidness, I like solidness. I like hugging larger people because they feel nice and solid, but I also like hugging skinny people because they feel nice and like I can protect them, and it just. Every body is awesome for its own reasons, and I like those kind of terms. <laughs> uh, weight does not correlate. It does not. It really does not. Oh, <laughs> what the hell, Matarissa? Had a doctor's appointment and I need to write my weight in the PC program. I said fat. He said that's not an option to write there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my blood work has been good, and I do take a bunch of medication, but... My diabetes is autoimmune. I have two other autoimmune diseases. I can't control that with weight. Um, I'm on cholesterol meds as a precaution because of diabetes and because of my age. Like, they do that for almost everybody my age. Um, I have blood pressure pills because of my Ritalin, because my blood pressure was always okay before I started Ritalin, and Ritalin is a stimulant, and it raises my blood pressure. So, stopping Ritalin not an option but blood pressure meds are an option and everything is cool with them so heck yeah and everything else about me like i exercise regularly now um yeah my this is the my glucose right now is the result of my flu shot my period and um poor sleep they're all things that affect glucose levels and insulin resistance like um I just don't do well with flu shots ever. Every year I get fucked up with them, uh, which is one of the reasons I take them because if I get the actual flu, I'm so screwed. Um, poor sleep is just real bad for my body. It doesn't like it. Um, and then my period, my period every month, either I keep going low because I'm super sensitive to insulin or I'm really resistant to it. It's just, that's what my body does. Just. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of discomfort comfort now for flu instead of bullshit later. Yeah. And, and the thing is, if I do get sick as a diabetic, the flu itself is not what is bad for me. It is the fact that an infection makes my insulin resistance even worse. And if I have a complication like uh, pneumonia, it's gonna fuck me up so bad. Like, so much worse than the flu itself. And that is what I try to prevent with a flu shot. I may still get sick, but the symptoms are gonna be less, and my body is not gonna be as fucked up. And that's what I take it for. And this is the trade-off, and I'm happy to do it. I don't, I don't care that much. It's just something that I've gotten used to. My body's just been like a mess for a long time, so I don't know any better anymore. It is what it is. So, you know. Do you have- 
Um, so Madaressa, you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but do you have PCOS? That's the fir first thing that I thought about when you said that. <laughs> exactly, Trev. And, you know, I have so many compounding factors in my day-to-day -day life with, um... I also have chronic pain, which I don't talk about often because it's been going on for 10 years now, and I have lower back problems. Um, I I used to get bedridden like once or twice a year where I couldn't even sit up. I couldn't, I couldn't use a bathroom. I couldn't do anything except for lay down and suffer for like one or two weeks at a time. Um, and put diabetes on top of that, ADHD, and just taking care of myself is very, very hard. So I do what I can. And that isn't probably what most people would think of of taking good care of myself but if i can't do any better then i'm doing good you know what i mean and that's the important part that i feel a lot of people leave out when they talk about health like i'm never going to be healthy well let's put that first i'm never going to get rid of these autoimmune diseases because there are no cures for them and there probably won't be in my lifetime so it i'm just doing what i can and if anybody disagrees with that, they can kiss my big, enormous fat ass. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. I'm done giving a shit about people who just... I hate that whole fake, I'm worried about your health thing too. Like, no, you're not worried about my health. You're not. You just want to feel better about yourself. Hey, child-free buddies! <laughs> Hell yeah, Trev! Are you gonna share it on TikTok? Are you gonna share your dance moves on TikTok? I wanna see that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And exactly, Aldi. That's how I feel, too. Like, I don't even feel disabled with my disabilities. It's just society is not set up for people like me. Like, my ADHD... It's, it's a disorder and a disability, but only because society doesn't accommodate me by default. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do like my medication because it helps me feel better. But part of the reason I feel bad is because I have all these neurotypical expectations, like, thrust upon me. If I don't have a clean house... I'm, I'm a messy slob, and instead of a person who is symptomatic of ADHD, and I don't have resources to hire a cleaner, which I should. Uh, <laughs> what, what was that? Bud wiggling? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Trev. Contemporary moves. Basic. Work up to me. Yes! That's fucking, that's fucking hysterical. <laughs> Come on, Stitch. Come on. I have severe asthma, PCOS, chronic depression, might have ADHD, and maybe on the autistic spectrum. Yeah. Um, I feel that, Madaressa, and I hope you can get tested for, um, for both ADHD and autism. I, I have an official ADHD diagnosis, but I chose not to pursue an autism diagnosis because the help provided to autistic people is not something that I need right now. So getting a diagnosis is not beneficial. Um, it just takes a lot of time and I don't need accommodations for my autism. I, I just, I mostly have issues on the social area and with um, auditory processing issues, but the ADHD is the one that impacts me the most. So that's what I got the diagnosis for, and a medication, and treatment, etc. Um, but it can make a really big difference if you do have it and you can get the care you need. So I only encourage pursuing a diagnosis. Ooh. I, <clears throat> I should get a new smartwatch too. I really need to pick up these stitches and get to knitting, huh? <laughs> That's what we're here for. Uh... Oh, 
also pretzel rocks has been changing their policies which i'm not sure i'm super happy about i'm gonna have to see how that works out but i've been getting some um not strikes but muted parts on pretzel rocks for some reason it's really annoying um well pretzel rocks has a, a free thing now right but if you open Pretzel Rocks, so they're telling you that they are changing their free plan to be less. So there's less music to listen to. And I think that the stations available are going to be randomized instead of something you can freely choose from. Which, ugh. I hate when they start you off with something and then instead of adding to it, they take stuff away for the free version. I don't like that. Yeah. And they, they recognize that they made a mistake by offering so much good content for free. But at the same time, I feel like... Yeah, I'm still using it because I don't really have any alternatives that I can rely on, but... Ugh. I just feel like if you're giving something for free as a service and you regret it, you shouldn't punish your users by taking a lot of the free content away. Like, that's not cool. And their plans are expensive, so... I'm not a fan. Like, it's gonna hit the people with, like, less money the most. I don't have that kind of money. It took me two years to save up for a new PC. And that's that was overdue by, like, eight years, so... Um, Twitch broadcast is interesting. I, um, <clears throat> it's a very specific setup. Um, there is DCM, DCM free, is that what it's called? Um, stuff on YouTube, etc., but it's not reliable. And, um, I don't know. Pretzel Rocks is just such a great solution, and now they they're taking it away from us and to some extent like not entirely but they kind of are you know maybe I should have done this picking up before I started streaming <laughs> but we're getting there Oh my god, Mel, that is ambitious. <laughs> Holy crap. But also... Holy shit. Holy shit, that's gonna be impressive. Oh, by the way, um, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but I don't know if everybody was here for that. Um, I I still have beans to eat. I ate five beans yesterday, but I haven't felt um, very good today. Like my blood sugar, I only had a sandwich earlier and my blood sugar is just fucked when it normally isn't. And I'm just feeling a little bit nauseated. So I decided not to eat any beans today just on the off chance that it's going to make me too sick and I'm going to throw up. I don't really want that, so <laughs> I still have it all written down and if anybody donates it will be added to the list and I will be eating them on the next stream, but I, I just, I didn't want to throw up today, so precautions. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. 
I will. I I've written it all down so I don't lose track, but um, I ate five. So, we only have this much left to put on the needles, and then we can... Um, no, one of them was bad. I got four good ones, and I feel like I'm fucked for the rest of the box. Because <laughs> I got so many good ones in a row. Um, the one that was bad was... I think it was supposed to be a strawberry, ban strawberry banana smoothie, and it ended up being dead fish. Is that it? Yeah, it ended up be a uh, dead fish, rotten fish, whatever. That's gross. <laughs> yes, the perfect nightmare run. Hell yeah. Just, just for that, Mel knows what's coming. I know it's coming at least. <laughs> oh, hang on here. Ah, this one. <laughs> I love this song. It's so funny. It's like, bye now. Bye. Uh. Well, <laughs> um, not entirely yes. sure I can do that today. But you uh. did. <laughs> <laughs> But you did it! <laughs> oh my god, copper, yes. <laughs> that was amazing. That that was amazing. I loved watching that on stream as it happened in real time. <laughs> oh. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we're down to the last couple of stitches. Yay! And then I'm gonna put the new the other needles back on. No, wait. Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> okay. The last ones are always the most finicky. I'm pretty sure I split a stitch or two in there, but that's good. That's okay. That'll be fine. I'm a professional knitter. Sometimes. Okay, that's two more stitches. Uh, this is the. These are the hardest ones. That's what she said before anybody else says that. Ha ha ha. I think I got him. I did! Yeah. Okay, so now that this has been twisted all around, like, like nobody's business. Um, all right. So I use these needles here because they were thinner. It makes it easier to pick them up. But I need to knit with these because they're the right size. slightly higher. I know that means it's more in in the screen, but that should be okay. If that bothers you, you've come to the wrong stream. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Okay, it's a little tight on the needles, but I guess that's to be expected. Um, what did I do? A 2x4? I think I did do a 2x4 rib. But what I'm going to do first is just knit a regular row piece. This is bananas. Also, be sure to tell me what you're having for dinner when you get back. Because I want to know. I need to remember to put a stitch marker in there. At some point. So much cat here. too, Ben. I haven't seen Mel do a community day in a while. I think she's putting her contact back in, so might be a little bit. to die in her stream <laughs> really okay by the way i finished this knocker the one that i started on stream the other day i need to start another one and and work on it but i was happy i finished that one pretty quick Will be so much fun. Also, welcome back, Mel. I'm gonna have some tea. She can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> Oh. Never washed my hands so much in my life. Yeah, same. And it's it's just not like as a diabetic, I'm supposed to be washing my hands a lot when I test my blood with for my fingertips. Um but I've never washed my hands as much as I have with my contacts. I also have a special uh, contacts drying towel that I use exclusively for when I wash my hands to touch my eyeballs. Just so that there's like no chance of there get, getting any cross contamination bullshit happening. Yes. Yeah, same L. I, I really should do better about cleaning my uh, keyboard and mouse more often, but it's hard. It's hard to be consistent with that. Okay, we almost made it one round, and then I can just start the ribbing for an inch, maybe two? Like, I'll be doing something like this, but for the neckline, I just don't know how much, like how, how long to make it.
Yes, once I finish this, I need to wash it before I actually wear it because it's been collecting dust for four years. <laughs> um, and after that, I'm going to be wearing it on stream. Yeah. Yes. It, I can tell it's really dirty though from like the dust and just a whole bunch of other stuff that's collected over the over the years but um, I, I it doesn't reduce my excitement one bit. Hi, Mrs. Rev. How are you? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day today. Okay, this is one round finished, so I need... Stitch mark. And now, we're going to be knitting and rip stitch. You know what I haven't done yet? I haven't knitted a mermaid themed sweater yet and I totally totally should. A mermaid hat too, yes. I need a whole set. <laughs> hat, mitten, scarf, sweater, the whole shebang. Oh, crap. Oh, but that's adorable. What are you having for the picnic? Like, I'm assuming you're not gonna have like fried eggs or something on the floor. But maybe you are. How does that work? Ooh, or pancakes. I could go for some pancakes. <gasps> Muffins, raisins, and popcorn. That sounds delicious. Hell yeah. I hope you have fun. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. It's just my body is just in turmoil. Um, I got my flu shot last week. My body doesn't like that. I got my period this week. My body doesn't like that. And I haven't been sleeping well. So even though I only had one sandwich today, my blood sugar is just really high and it's very annoying. But I took my insulin. I don't have ketones, so I'll be okay. It just sucks for now. But it's one of the reasons I'm very tired today, unfortunately.
feels really good to be working on this sweater now. I feel like if I hadn't done this on stream, I would have put it off for another year. annoying thing about it is how much I have to rotate the entire sweater because <laughs> I'm working around. Okay. I hope so too. It should. Um... It's normal, especially during my period, for shit to just go haywire. It's, it's the diabetic life. So I either messed up somewhere or I did not have the right stitch count for a 4 by 2 by 2 rib. Um, I think it's just the wrong stitch count, but that's fixable pretty easily. Let me just double check. Yeah, that, that is it. Ben, why? Why do you have to be such chaotic evil? The audacity! There we go. Fix the stitch count. It's that easy. You know what's not easy? Managing this damn sweater on a desk. Chaotic neutral. We Yes, that... I stand corrected. That is true. I hope your sinful muffin was worth it. Banana nut, it was worth it. Sounds delicious. I haven't had muffins in a hot minute. This is gonna be. Um, or 12, maybe? There are those giant ones from the store that are basically unfrosted cupcakes. Damn!
feel like cupcakes and muffins aren't really as big over here. Like, we have them. I can get them, but I kind of have to look for them. And if they do have them in stores, it's usually just one brand and maybe two flavors. If that. Most of the time, vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> you want fruit? You're out of luck. Rotating the sweater again. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh... 50% up. Also, sorry if this is weird, but... My pump is in my bra, so <laughs> it looks funny when I have to take it out. Um, I am setting a temporary basal rate, which is the insulin that my body gets um, between meals because our body is constantly releasing some glucose to function. And... Oh, I can only do 25%. That is okay. Does that puts me up to two. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And um, sometimes I have to raise that to bring my, my blood sugar down because otherwise it will not do it. 25% um, involved. Yes. Did you do it? I did it. Okay. Well, let's see how that goes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thanks for the lurk and enjoy the picnic. <laughs> and don't let the doggy eat the muffins. Leak duck. Huh. Interesting name. Is that a, a far fetched joke? I feel like that's a far fetched joke.
realize Cod's worth for this. Because this yarn fits perfectly in there. And now I won't have to be careful that it doesn't roll away. For a second I thought it was Thursday. Why did I think it was Thursday? Maybe I'm just hopeful for the weekend. Oh, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> I have my new glasses to pick up on Friday. I, um, because I, I do have contacts now, but, um, I do need glasses, and I have been avoiding my old glasses because they have an old prescription. And if I keep switching between the new prescription in my contacts and the ones in my glasses, I just get headaches. So I've only been wearing the contacts, but I'm excited to be able to have glasses too. Was a fly. Stay away, fly. No cameo for you on on scream, on scream, on on stream. Words are hard. This is not the scream stream. <laughs> it was. It shouldn't be. Copper, thank you. I uh, I was just thinking about how sometimes I feel like I could just fall right asleep while doing this, just knitting and listening to music, and I could just doze off. But uh, I'm wearing my own hand knit sweater and my own hat, so I do feel very cozy. It's nice and warm. <laughs>
It's another leak duck. Keep hearing things. Like my insulin is water. Damn. chocolate orange with popping candy in it. Okay, what's what's a chocolate orange? Like, let's start with that because I have no idea what that would be. Chocolate shaped like orange slices. Huh. Interesting. That sounds delicious, but pop rocks? Is that like the, the, the pop rocks stuff that's in there? So does the whole uh, popping thing in your mouth? Okay. I want to see that. I'm curious. That sounds really bizarre. Is it good? Like, besides being weird? Set your five dollar ass down before I make change! Hi, Adam! How are you? Welcome on in! <laughs> What's up? I think Mel is AFK right now, otherwise she would be, like, lolling at you. Oh, by the way, I saw your, um, your, your Facebook friend request and I accepted it. So, hi. <laughs> now we're friends. <sighs> All this dustiness from the sweater is making my nose itch. <laughs> Do 
Facebook official. Hell yeah. Oh, right. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, hopping kids. <laughs> Thank you, Trev. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um. Uh. Ooh, I see the slices. God, that must be so weird, though. Welcome back. We're making some progress on the, on the sweater neck or whatever you want to call it. Since I'll be finishing this today, I'm going to load, um, run a load of laundry and I will wash this in there so I can wear it on. I think my next stream is on Friday. Yeah, it's um, after I pick up my glasses in the morning. You smack it on the counter to break it open. Oh, dang. Violent chocolate. <laughs> I'm down. Also, in one of these streams this month, I want to put on like a, a nice full face of makeup. Like eyeshadow and everything, just because I haven't done it in a while. And now with contacts, I don't have to hide any of my eye makeup. Yes. Oh, Adam, thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the donation. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, you get two shout outs. <laughs> Oh shit! Why is it d doing the double thing now? <gasps> Lenny Kierke, uh, thank you for the follow. Hello. <laughs> at least T or Megger's here. That would be truly a I'm Just watching a clip of Adam right now. <laughs> oh, it's the same clip twice. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay. Got him. Oh. Did I get this right? I think I did. At least T or Megger's here. That would be truly a really good thing. Alright. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome in, Lenny. How are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good clip. It is a pretty good clip. Why? What did I do? I just found a dead body. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love that. I love that. Why did it do that though? Like it, it did a it did a double one. And it's not supposed to do a double one, because I changed that. That's weird. That's weird. Also, that means I got to eat a bean, not today, because I feel I don't feel very well today and I don't want to throw up. So I'm putting it on a list and I will be eating beans in the next stream. Um, why is it? Oh, the alert box is still there. Okay. Okay, it shouldn't happen again. <laughs> Plotting to return to streaming just to generate more clips. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> we need more clips. We need more quality content. Alright. I'm not sure how much to do of the neckline. Because... I can go... Maybe an inch, inch and a half? Probably? Probably. We have options. <laughs> so how are you feeling, Trev? I, I saw that you weren't feeling too well the other day. Yesterday? The day before? I Time is difficult. I hope you're feeling better now. I 
We didn't play yesterday, did we? No, I think I just played... Did we? No, I don't know. We played Monday. Okay, yeah, okay. I was just thinking that was probably on Mel's stream. Good, good. I'm glad. Sometimes we just need a little break. <laughs> well, still counts. And I still want to take that. Ooh. D don't hurt yourself or kick something important. Because <laughs> I would definitely do that. Definitely. Hell yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Honestly, this wouldn't be a bad height. We need like two more. Oh, thank you for hanging out, Copper. I hope I see you again soon. Have a good time running your errands and um, mwah. love you. See you soon. I think I'll do up to eight rows. I'm at like one, two, three, four, five, six at six right now. And then I have to think about what kind of bind off to do. So the thing with binding off stitches is that you can do it two ways. Oh, okay. I uh, gotta go now too. Oh yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. Is Mel streaming right now? Is she doing it early today? I don't know. No, no, they're just doing a little run together. Cool. No, I just saw that. She's been uh, trying to tackle Nightmare and, and Phasmo. Um, she did a solo run earlier. Like, I say earlier, I think that was yesterday. And she did it by herself, and hell yeah. Um, and she recorded it. And I'm very proud of her because she was, um, she was very scared to try it. <laughs> and she did it anyway, and she killed it. Well, it was already dead when she got there, but you know, details, schmeetails. Yes, we did. We did survive a lot of nightmares. We're getting better again. <laughs> How long until there's like an ultra nightmare mode? <laughs> I could see that happening. Ghost that chases you in a van. Yeah, that would be cool. I like that about Ghost Hunters Court. Um, it's a very cool concept, and dying inside the van is... Uh, <laughs> it is rage-inducing, but also funny as shit. However, I will always be sad that because the Phasma van is like just a like an actual truck truck um in Ghost Hunter's Court I died in the bathroom on the toilet <laughs> and I can't do that in Phasma if that, if that happens in the van and that's gonna make me sad because that was hysterical and I thought that was funny Master Heart yeah I have been getting better at hiding in Phasmo. Um, like I'll hide behind the car in Tanglewood and not get, not die. Um, I've hid behind the kitchen counters instead of like hiding in a corner. Didn't die. Um, where else? Bunch of places probably.
wonder, I feel like I didn't go a size down on this, but I should have. Yeah, my glucose is... I, I still had insulin from earlier and I increased my basal dose and it's just not happening and I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, I could be really upset about it, but... I did my best. I hadn't eaten in more than 16 hours when I had my sandwich and I was already high and it's just not gotten better. Um, I don't know. My body just hates me right now. Um, I was looking at Ollie's comment, cutting that onion infected me despite wearing protective goggles. I'm sorry. Like, is it stinging your eyes? Do you have, like, the usual crying response? Little bit. Protective goggles! <laughs> Hi, Tony! Hi, Bonnie! Hi, Brent! Wow! Everybody's coming in at once! Hi, how are you? How are things? I'm working on a sweater that I forgot about for four years. I don't know, Adam. I've just given up at this point. I just accept the, the water works. Like, I'll just cry while cutting onions. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Aldi. Aldi's crying. If not on the outside, then on the inside. <laughs> Baking cupcakes! Nice! Everybody's having delicious food today, and I'm just over here like, I can't eat anything but a basic sandwich, because my blood sugar won't fucking behave. <gasps> Adam! That's... That that's like bonus tears. That's just bonus tears. Bean chili. Oh my god, y'all are making me hungry. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. Maybe nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Life's hard. Seafood corn chow. Ooh, I've never had that before, but I feel like I want to. Okay, one more row on this and I'm gonna bind off and then we're gonna see what the sweater looks like. It should be interesting. Hungry girl recipe. I'm a hungry girl, but I don't have a recipe. Thai peanut chicken. Mm. I'm not a, if, it, if it's like peanut sauce type stuff, I don't actually like that. Um, but if it's like whole peanuts, I might be interested. Hold that thought. What? Why? Uh, Adam knitting? Um, depends. Um, there is a pretty steep learning curve for a lot of this stuff, and... You have to like it enough to be willing to sit through it and deal with it and be frustrated and try again and um, kind of expect your first projects to just be total disasters. <laughs> um, uh, basically go into it with the mindset that the first couple of things that you're going to make, you might have to undo it several times before you finish it. Um, and that's okay because it helps you learn. It helps you learn to recognize the mistakes and what your knitting is supposed to look like. Um, I do recommend a certain playlist on YouTube if you want to get into it. Um, let me go find it real quick. Because it is my favorite one to share with people who want to get into knitting. They're very 
Um, where did I put that link? The videos are very, very, um... What, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... They're very detailed. They're slow enough that new people can follow it easily. And it teaches you all the basics. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, the playlist. There we go. I recommend this playlist. If you want to learn how to knit. This is for total beginners. <laughs> yeah, Tony, that that is super common. Um, it is so easy for like... For example, I have this stitch here, but it's so easy to do stuff like this, accidentally putting the yarn on top, and then when you knit, you turn this stitch into one extra stitch, and if you keep doing that at certain points, it's gonna turn into a slope because you're increasing. Or sometimes you accidentally decrease, you, you like knit two things together because your stitches are too close together, and then it's like, like this. And where you should have two stitches, you have one. Um, but that's all stuff that you can learn and recognize and troubleshoot. So, you know, or just drop a stitch. Yeah, although I'm not afraid of that anymore. <laughs> I have mastered the picking up stitches and fixing drop stitches. So that is something that you also end up learning. There we go. Fixed and knit it. And you can start out with like super cheap stuff too. Like, um, I'm pretty sure if you go to, um, there was a hobby store that I shouldn't recommend in the States. Um, like a craft store. But if you go to a craft store and you go pick up knitting needles and stuff like that, um, thank you for the lurk, Brit. Um, maybe Michaels. Michaels might have been a bad one. There was one that's like been very um, that's been donating to anti-LGB cause. Like, was it Hobby Lobby? I wanted to say Hobby Lobby at first, but yeah. Okay, so don't shop at Hobby Lobby. They're they're not good. They're not good people. They're not a good company. But um, Joann's, for example, go pick up a cheap pair of knitting needles. It'll tell you what size it is. And then you find yarn and you look on the label. Um, the label will tell you what size needle to use. So if you find a yarn that matches your needle, you're good. Um, and then just start knitting a swatch, like a square, dishcloth, whatever. There's a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube on how to do how to do that kind of stuff as a beginner um and you can always ask me i i'm chock full of information so if you're ever stuck on anything just ask me um or if anybody else in here is like i want to help just let adam know <laughs> cup coasters yeah also crocheting might be easier to get started with um i don't like crocheting super much I prefer a different kind of crochet that's called Tunisian crochet. It's kind of a, a mix between knitting and crocheting because you end up with a bunch of stitches on the hook and then you hook back and then you put more stitches on the hook and you go back and forth like that, which I like, <laughs> um, but it's still crocheting. Uh, but crocheting itself is like the easier of the two usually for most people. And it's, it also works up faster. I'm just not a huge fan of the fabric that it creates. Like, I like the soft, drapey fabric that this knitting stitch does. Crochet doesn't really do that. And I just, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of this. And I want to drink my tea, which has gone cold. That's okay. It's still delicious tea. Thank you. I made this like four years ago and then forgot about it. <laughs> and now I'm finishing it up. And I can kind of tell because my stitches are tighter. Um, tension is another thing that people get stuck on a lot, but it's just a matter of practice. If you keep doing this long enough, your tension will even out and um, you'll find your groove. 
One thing that I've learned is that if you are a tight knitter, you have to relax. You have to just like sit up right, let your shoulders down, just breathe out and just chill. <laughs> and um, that helps with making um, less tight stitches, funnily enough. Um, don't worry, I have plenty of tension. <laughs> same, same. But did you know knitting and crocheting can actually lower your blood pressure? Hell yeah. Unless, unless you're learning and you're like, fuck the shit, and you're just like, Poof. just yeet your knitting because you're like, fuck, I'm done. <laughs> Welcome back, Mel. Oh, uh, thank you, Aldi. I was like, am I what? Um, what is all in it? What is cream style corn? I've, I've never seen that. Yes, you were clever and efficient. Three four cup of vanilla yogurt, two tea. Ooh, yes. I, my partner got me some yogurt from the store yesterday, so I, I feel like I might have a snack later, just to um, just to chill a bit. Love you, Tony. Thank you for the lurk. Oh shit! I haven't even been counting. Okay, I'm still on the right row. That, that's cool. Um, I think I'm gonna take a look at this and see if I like the neckline. And if I do, I'm gonna cast off or bind off. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of bind off to do. I might have to do one that's a little bit more stretchy, but we'll see. What did I do in this one? I didn't do a stretchy one, but I didn't need to. Yeah. Also, fun fact, fun fact, um, because I'm so prone to not finishing stuff and doing things, I keep tricking myself into starting and finishing projects by streaming them, and I think it's a real cool hack for myself. Because um, when I'm on stream, I'm, I'm just sitting here for two hours doing this. No distractions, just talking to you guys, um, going back on track easily, and I struggle doing that without some kind of outside accountability. If that makes sense, because ADHD is like that. Um, and I just really like that I picked this up after four years and this is the excuse that I needed to, to finish it. <laughs> right? This project is just, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I think the first project that I did was on a knitting loom, which is one of those um, hoops with the pins on them. Um, that was my introduction to knitting, which I still like, but it doesn't offer the same flexibility that knitting on needles does. Um, Exactly. You don't invest. My biggest tip for knitting, crocheting, any crafting in general is don't invest a lot of money into tools until you've learned how to do it and you know what you want. Um, when I first started, I was so sure that I would want plastic or wooden needles, but now I, I, I will die to have metal knitting needles. Um, I don't like the wood or plastic much. I will use them if I have to. Like with DPNs, I need to have wood so that stitches don't slide off, but I don't like it when I have to knit in a round like that. Um, or just knit in general. 
And if you invest a lot of money into something that you end up hating, it's not smart and kind of unnecessary. Um, if you start with basic tools, you have the opportunity to just experiment and maybe you can buy one nice set of knitting needles for yourself just to like try it out. And if you're like, hey, I like this, you can start investing in a full set, for example. Um, see, Madarasa is the opposite of me. <laughs> I don't really like wooden needles. Um, but I love the metal ones, and it's just different for everybody. Um, same with the kind of yarn. I use a lot of acrylic yarn because it's cheaper. Um, and I don't mind the texture much. This is very nice soft yarn. This is half wool, half acrylic. Um, this is entirely acrylic. This hat is entirely acrylic. I don't mind acrylic socks or, um, shawls or sweaters. Um, it's just a matter of what you like, and if you've worked with the material, you can figure that out pretty easily. Okay, so this is the... wait, wait, I was gonna... I was gonna check this out and see how I felt about it. Did I just... no, I did not pull down. Beetle. Okay, so... This is kind of stretched out right now. But I do think I like this length for the... Just like, ah, uh, can you see that? Like this part here. That is what that is supposed to be. Um, I think I like this. I think I'm gonna bind off and... <laughs> there you go! That, everybody is different with this stuff, so... You just gotta find out what you like. And don't listen to yarn snobs. I, I hate that. Um, I hate the whole one fiber is superior over others because I have friends who can't use acrylic or who can't use wool or who can't use cotton or whatever for whatever reason. And then they end up feeling bad because everybody is snubbing their, their choice of yarn for their projects. And it's like, you don't... Can you just like not comment if you hate it? Like, just don't say anything. Don't put somebody down for their choice of materials. You don't know why they chose that. They may not have enough money. They may have allergies. They may have something else going on that makes them choose that. It's not up to you to be the police here. I just made a boo-boo. What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, knit it to... Oh, that's what I did. Okay. I need to put these on there and then knit them together like that. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna do that in pattern. It's not necessary. Am I doing this right? I feel like I'm not doing this right. I would love to work with a click yarn because it's usually cheaper when I touch the yarn with those girl. My mind screams no. Yeah, you're not the only one that happens to. I've heard that a lot. And it's okay. It's okay. You gotta work with what you can work with. Okay, let's see. I feel like I'm making mistakes when I don't have to. Okay, so that's my first knitted stitch. And then I knit the second one. And then I move them back over here. And do I knit them together or through the back loop? I don't remember. I feel like I should do it through the back loop. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I will just do it through the back loop and call it a day. Consistency is the key. If you're not sure and you're just doing something, make sure you're consistent about it. If you change your mind halfway through, you're going to be able to tell, but if you did everything consistently from the beginning, it looks like it was on purpose. Even if it wasn't. <laughs> and that's the important part. Back 
And now we have, as you can see, we're starting to have a bind off here. <laughs> oh, yeah, when, when friends tell you that they are pregnant and they tell you at the last moment, it's like, I can't knit anything this fast. You should have told me sooner. Oh yeah, that's how I did it last time. Okay. Found my groove again. That's why that felt so awkward. <laughs> yeah, uh, I kind of stopped doing stuff for Christmas to be entirely honest with you. Um, I just, I don't have the capacity and ability to plan that far ahead and stick with it. Um, like, not because I don't care, it's just so hard for me. So hard. Okay, yeah. We're getting a nice stretchy bind off, so it should fit my head. Yeah, the pressure is pretty insane with that. Oh wow, it's been an hour and 40 minutes almost. Dang, time flies. Hello Viridian, welcome in. How are you? I am. Um, I ate a bean for your donation, by the way. Um, I think that was the rotten fish one. <laughs> this was the second one, right? Yeah, I think I think the second donation was you. Yeah. <gasps> no, Aldi, get out of here! What? No way. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah. Yeah. You're as shocked as everyone. Mm -hmm. We're all just falling out of a chair here from sheer surprise. Who would have thunked? Who would have thunked? Metaresta. I feel that. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I think I might be streaming this weekend. Um, I'm just not entirely 100% sure. Um, I'm going to a meetup with some diabetic friends on Sunday. Um, including a person from Alaska who, who has been um, on a hiking trip in Europe. Um, so we're going to be meeting up in person, um, seeing an old friend of mine. And uh, I don't know if I have the capacity to stream on Saturday, but if I do, I will. But it's a big maybe. <laughs> Friday, I'm streaming for sure. Tomorrow, I'm taking a day off because I think I deserve that after four consecutive days streaming. Holy crap, I've streamed for four days in a row. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your bean was Juicy Pear. Ooh, yeah, it was. Yeah, the first one. I was so relieved. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, yes. Awesome. 
I'm, I'm looking forward to that, Matarasa. Also, if any of you guys are crafting and you've like, you're crafting while streaming, um, d please do feel free to send a picture in my Discord. I want to see what everybody's working on while I'm working on stuff too. I, I always take a lot of delight out of that. Is that the right phrasing? Oh yeah, Viridian. It was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm sorry to say I didn't finish eating it. I spat it out. <laughs> I took one chew, maybe two, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's so gross, so gross. Oh. And then I just, I couldn't. <laughs> and then I kept tasting it for like half an hour. I hope I can get this done in time because I have like a little over 15 minutes left. I'm going pretty slow. Binding off is always slow for me. Because you only do it like once a project usually. <laughs> so. Or in this case, um, four times. Because you bind off both arms and then both sleeves and then the bottom. But we're getting there. And then I gotta weave in the ends and take out the lifeline. Which I've kept in there just in case I fuck this up too. blood sugar still isn't coming the fuck down. <clears throat> well then. It is what it is. It's getting dark too. I keep forgetting that we're in November. It's like... By the time December is done, it'll be dark around this time already. Right now it's just getting dark. Oh yeah, um, I'm a type 1 diabetic and that is my glucose level at this moment. Um, from one minute ago, apparently. Is that it? Yeah, from one minute ago. Um, I... I try to raise some awareness about diabetes as well and just show people how it affects people because um, it's so much like it's such an invisible disease when I'm not feeling well I can I can tell people hey I'm not feeling well but this is kind of a visual representation for me this is too high uh, no it's measuring in millimoles uh, multiplied by 18 to get milligrams per deciliter I don't know what the what the standard is in in your country. Um, it's I think this is like two thirty five maybe. Is it? I can find out <laughs> real quick, even though I'm terrible at math. Um, two thirty five on the nose. Cool. Yeah. I'm awesome. Yeah, um, I got my flu shot last week, and I'm on, I'm on my period, and um, I've not been sleeping well, so my body is just like not, not taking things well. <laughs> I've been slamming insulin at it like all day, all night, and it's just not, it's not doing anything. So it's like water, at this point, and I've just kind of resigned myself to it. I'm doing what I can, and this is just common for being ill. <laughs> usually so yeah no no you're not interrupting I have it up there for a reason you know I, f 
feel like other people do heart rates constantly and I'm just like, no, I'm doing glucose because I have to be special. <laughs> uh, I think it's milligrams per deciliter. Um, and this is millimoles per liter. Am I saying that right? Uh, yeah, milligrams per deciliter. Um, unless you're talking about A1C or something, that is usually millimoles, moles, or percent. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. When, when somebody just posts like 235, I'm like, oh yeah, that's milligrams per deciliter. Or in this case, 13.1. Oh yeah, no, that's that's millimoles. <laughs> in the Discord that I'm in, we have a bot that is hooked up to the site where I pull that data from. So if I say Diabot BG for blood glucose, it spits out my results and it shows both millimoles and milligrams. So I just kind of, I'm so used to it and seeing other people's glucose is just like so normal for me now. <laughs> but yeah, red is just not good either way. I should be like orange or green, ideally. But that's not been happening and yeah, bodies are weird. Last month when I had my period, my blood sugar kept going low because suddenly I was super sensitive to insulin. And this time it's like, no, fuck you. What insulin? I don't know her. I'm like, thanks, body. Thanks. Love it. Love it. <sighs> and the most fun part is when I exercise and it goes down, it looks like I'm crashing. And then it's like, psych! And it goes back up. It goes higher than it was before. And I'm like... Why? I didn't even eat anything. Why are you doing this to me, body? <laughs> exactly. That's the, exactly it. That is uh, that is the, the motto of my body, essentially. Stop doing dumb shit and just do your job. But no. First, autoimmune conditions. Then, this bullshit. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, body. Thanks for nothing. I feel like I was like expecting to finish this in like 45 minutes. It's been almost two hours. And I'm still not done. And I was like, oh, I should probably knit my socks. Like, if I finish this before then. I was so ready for it. And I'm like, oh my god, am I going to be able to finish this in time? Probably will. She said overly confident. I like how it's brown and then the last one is just orange. It's like very distinct. But it looks like nothing on screen. It's just a pile of knitting. Don't worry, I'll show it off properly. Just need to hurry up. And then next stream, I'll be wearing this. Hopefully it still fits, because I knitted this four years ago. It should be okay though. This one fits too, and I knitted that before that, so... What an 
a song. There we go. That was a weird song. I feel like I keep going off camera and I'm sorry. there that's what she said just in case Ollie is listening <laughs> yay I summoned him do once I finish this and I'm happy with it I'm gonna bind it off and um, well I have been binding it off but yeah I, I slammed a bunch of insulin and I increased it my uh, my basal insulin my background insulin so hopefully they'll beat it back into submission <laughs> I also I'm so I'm super thirsty so I'm gonna be hydrating like hell and uh, probably pee a whole bunch but you know just diabetic things. If I feel well enough, I can also do a bit of mild exercise, which should help a bunch too. Yeah. God, the thirst. It's, um... Sometimes people are like, Am I diabetic? I, I drink, like, two extra glasses of water a day, and I'm like... No, no. Before my diagnosis, while my blood sugar was at, a, at its worst, um, I would go into the shower. Before I got into the shower, I drank like maybe one or two glasses of water. In the shower, I was drinking straight from the tap. Then I got out of the shower and I had three more glasses of water and it was never enough. The, the thirst is unimaginable. Um, you'll know it. You'll know the thirst. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just... That's two extra glasses of water a day and shit, dude. Not with undiagnosed diabetes. <laughs> okay, so... This is the sweater. Ignore that a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I do like that. That looks good. Uh, so, now we're cutting the yarn. Ha! It's a sweater, yes. Yes, one second. I don't know if you guys can see that. Whoop. It's a sweater. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I started knitting this four years ago. <laughs> and I finished it four years ago, but I had a different kind of neckline here. Um, I was trying to go for a kind of turtleneck kind of thing, but it wasn't comfortable. It didn't fit right. And I regretted it, and I kept it on a shelf for four years. <laughs> and today I decided I wanted to redo this and make it a wearable thing. Um, and I just... This is a lifeline. I put it through the stitches so that when I pull this out, it doesn't unravel past this point. Then I picked those stitches back up, knitted this, and now we're here. <laughs> so, four years is the official answer. But, um, I don't know. Sweaters... Probably about 40 hours for a sweater like this, a plain one. The color changing happens from the yarn itself, so I don't have to do anything special. And, and, what I'm really proud of in this one... Um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a bust dart here. So, you can kind of see there's like a triangle here. Um, that's me adding space for my boobs. <laughs> um, it helps shape the sweater and there is some waist shaping here, which you can also see. So it fits my body better, which I don't really get from regular sweaters. So I was really proud of that. Um, 
Let's see. Go under it in there. Fix that up so it's invisible. Gotta make room for the girls. They they exist. I can pretend they I can pretend they don't exist, but they're they're gonna protest. They're gonna make themselves visible, so might as well accommodate them. And besides, it's not comfortable to wear a sweater that doesn't fit right. And half the reason you knit is because you want to make stuff that is custom made for you, right? Like, I can do whatever I want. Whatever I want. However it's comfortable. And that's the beauty of knitting. And of course I'm off, off camera. Why wouldn't I be? So I'm just weaving in these ends. I do have to wash this, but maybe I can show it on cam real quick. Me wearing it. Um, might be fun. One more. Come on. There we go. That should do it. Ugh. happy with this so let's see about undoing the lifeline I think I split the yarn here and there so Finished sweater! Hell yeah! My candy corn sweater! Even though it's not technically candy corn. But <laughs> it reminded me of it. Um, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Hi Ajax! Hi! You kind of came at the end of my stream, sort of, but um, I'm about to uh, put up my BRB screen, put this on, and show it off because it is done. And as far as I can recall, I have nothing left to weave in. I don't think I do. So we can see if this still fits me, how it looks. Should be okay, but who knows? So I will be right back. Um, just give me a minute or two. And yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you remember it. I started it four years ago. So <laughs> you, you, you would have seen it. Um, okay, I'll be right back. So see you guys in a minute or two. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, okay. Um, let me put up just chatting. Here we go. Sweater. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what else I love about knitting my own shit? Long sleeves. Long sleeves. Yes. I, I love long sleeves. Um, it is so hard for me to find stuff that is long enough because, oh my god, <laughs> I'm so tall. And that means I have like long arms. And usually this would be like all the way up here. And now it's just like all the way up there. But it fits still. And I like how the way it looks. And the bus starts are, you can, you can kind of see them there. Uh, they provide a lot of extra space, which I like. And, oh yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I love that. I have to wash this thing though. It's like, it's actually kind of discolored from the dust because it's been just like laying there for four years. <laughs> uh, if it's about my boobs, yes. It, look, it makes my boobs look great. I know. <laughs> uh, that's one of the benefits of, um, of knitting your own stuff, right? <laughs> oh, awesome. Let me put this down a little bit out of the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop. Sir, why'd you have to come in at the end? <laughs> boobs, I finished my new sweater, my candy corn sweater, and my boobs look huge in it. <laughs> oh my god. See? That's... It is what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, welcome in. I was just about to go find somebody to raid. Oh, okay. Silent lurkers. <laughs> Yeah, this is the boob stream now. That's all it is. Like, who needs hot tub streams when you can have boob streams like this? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. I like this sweater. I, I was I was so sad about seeing it just laying there for years and not being able to wear it. So let's see who is. Ooh. Hmm. One second. Oh. The stream title is wrong. Okay. Well, you know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna raid somebody. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. I think we're gonna go raid Trev. He's playing Phasmo, which I know is not knitting. And there's a very big lag of boobs on Trev's stream. <laughs> For good reasons. <laughs> but uh, let's go say hi. <laughs> Thank you for being here. It was so awesome. Um, I didn't know so many people were lurking. I don't have you count on, so I don't know what happens. Um, but I will be back on Friday. I will be picking up my new glasses. Um, probably be wearing them. We'll see. Um, uh, this weekend, probably I will be streaming, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, you can just check out my schedule here. Bookmark it, whatever. Follow me on Twitter if you want. If you want it's all optional um let's see boo, 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 boo. trev is just streaming phasmo let's go raid him i will be putting up the end of stream screen scene where it's a hard <laughs> for just a half a minute um and i hope i'll see you guys over on trev's stream make sure to refresh the page i will see you guys again soon thank you for being here it was lovely and fun as always and um I hope you have a very nice evening. Bye-bye.